<sighs> Sorry guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your freaking exhausted host, Zach. And you're probably wondering, why is he so out of breath? Why is he so tired? And, and it's, it's because I've used so much energy, so much effort to answer this one question. Am I the butthole? Okay, and for safety's sake, in case you didn't get it, today's subreddit is r slash am I the butthole. All right, this story's called Am I the Butthole for Shouting at My Parents and Calling Them Blind? The title seems really bad, but hear me out. I, 19, female, have an elder sister, 25 female, who recently lost her best friend due to a car accident. They were friends from literally when they were both babies. Oh man. All this has affected her in a really bad way. It's been two months since the accident, and ever since then she has been really quiet, she barely eats anything or talks to anyone, her college grades have also dropped. Seeing all this, I'm really worried about her. I tried talking to her, but she won't open up to me. I couldn't see her like that anymore, so I suggest my parents that we should let her seek help from a professional, like a, a therapist. But here's the thing. My parents don't believe that mental health issues are real. They are very traditional people when it comes to mental health, apart from that they are really up to date with everything. It's just the mental health that feels like a taboo to them. They just told me that there is nothing therapy can do and that she will get over it soon. Wow. But I told them that it's not a thing which you can get over soon and the condition my sis is in right now, I don't think that she will get over it soon. But my parents wouldn't hear the end of it. Then they started telling me about my cousin, whom I don't really know or talk to, that she faked that she was in a really bad mental health state just to get attention from people around her, and that her parents wasted a lot of money and time on her therapy so they don't believe it. They don't think my sis needs therapy because she is not depressed or anything like that. I don't know, man. It sounds like she's depressed. But also, I'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist. Um, but also, the, the cousin? I Dude, she definitely needs therapy. Like, even if she's faking depression, which that's a dangerous game to play um, for those who are faking it and for those who are accusing the person of faking it. But like, normal people who are, you know, healthy, don't seek attention like that all right so there's got to be a reason why she's seeking attention like that anyway at this point I'm furious and I kind of raised my voice and said well if I guys my sis is not like her and she is clearly not faking it can't you guys see her the way that she is being and that she is not okay how freaking blind can you guys be and are we gonna wait around until the time she gets freaking depressed to seek professional help mind this that it was the first time I was talking to them in this way. All of this just for my sis who was their daughter as well. My parents got mad at me for raising my voice and calling them blind and scolded me for talking to them like that and cursing at them. Also told me that I'm young so I shouldn't talk about things that I don't understand. They called me a brat and are not on speaking terms with me. Am I the butthole for shouting at my parents and calling them blind? No, 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 no. You're a good sister and I love you on behalf of them because they're stupid. I'm sorry, your parents are dummy heads. Even if they ain't in other ways, they are in this way a big enough way that they are. All right, Ski, this one's called Update! Am I the butthole for shouting at my parents and calling them blind? The original post here. Since many of you asked me for the update, here it is. First of all, I want to thank each and every single one of you for showing so much support for my sister and I. I know, I know, I'm a hero. Thank you guys for the silver and other awards as well. These are my very first awards, so thank you very much. I would also like to thank, uh, to some of the people with the you're the butthole opinion because that helped me as well. After reading all the comments, I went ahead and talked to my sister and asked her how she would feel about trying to talk, trying talking to a professional. She didn't agree right away, but after a little coaxing, she agreed to it. I told her what happened between our parents and let's just say there were many tears and hugs after that. Okay, I'm about to cry. I then made my parents sit down on the dining table. I apologized to them for shouting and cursing at them 
them, but I told them that mental health is really a thing, and we should at least give talking to a professional one chance. If my sister doesn't feel that it's helping her, we will take a look at some other options. Like, uh, Blue's Clues. They did a Christmas special, and they brought Steve and Joe back! Oh my god, it was so cool. Oh my god. Sorry. Um, my parents didn't agree at first, but then I told them this in a very polite manner that it is a really difficult time for my sister and we should help her in this time and knowing that they were here to support would mean the world to her. Oh god. Okay. I also told them that having mental health issues and seeking professional help is nothing to be ashamed of. Instead, we should embrace it because it's okay to need someone's help. At this point, Point, I was a crying mess and my parents were on the verge of crying as well. They were reluctant, but they agreed. We went to our sister's room and we told her that we are here for you whenever we are here for her whenever she needed us. Our parents apologized for behaving the way they did and told us that there is nothing more important than seeing their children happy and that they would be coming to the sessions if my sister feels like she needs them there. Ah! All this ended in a big hug and a lot of of happy tears. So my sister is going for an appointment next week. I hope everything goes well, fingers crossed. Once again, thank you all for showing support and the positivity. I showed all of the comments to my sister and she was overwhelmed by the support and says thanks to you guys. Thanks for the you're the butthole judgmenters as well. My sister saw them and thought that you guys were right as I shouldn't have cursed at my parents. But once again, thank you so much guys um yeah you probably shouldn't have cussed at them but hey man the f sometimes sometimes you have to be forceful to show that you are passionate to show that you mean what you're saying um but it has to be well placed just don't always be screaming otherwise no one's gonna take it seriously um but yes it's good that you realize that you recognize that you probably could have done it in a nicer way but i feel that um the results speak for themselves and all is well you apologize you made up and the damage has been rebuilt basically you destroyed a rickety old wooden bridge oh no no more bridge and then you built a really sexy uh sturdy stone bridge it's quite beautiful i'm really proud of the builders too like stone bridges are cool all right and if done right like uh if you've got arches underneath them boom they, those suckers are never coming down unless you do like a, a really strong sideways blow but like the more weight the stronger it is unless you just it's way too heavy it just freaking disintegrates the rock but you know how likely is that not very likely i assume has it happened before all right guys time for a cool one it's called am i the butthole for snapping at my mom and running away from home leaving my parents worrying with no knowledge of where i am and if i'm safe for three days <sighs> Reposted. I know it sounds bad, but bear with me. My parents, 45 female and 44 male, and I, 17 female, have a complicated, strained sort of relationship where they only pay attention when A, I'm in a life-threatening situation. How often is that? B, when I act out, I've never really thought they cared about me and ran away from home following a heated argument with my mom where she thought I was out when I wasn't. I was actually hanging out in the yard and reacted badly. I was already stressed, and so when she exploded and started to yell at me without trying to let me have a word in to explain the misunderstanding, I behaved like a brat. I'll admit now, and snap that it's not like she cared about what I was up to, that I wish I'd get out of this miserable poo hole, and that I don't have to wait long for that to happen. She lost it and blew up on me, telling me that I was a disgrace, that she regrets the day I was born, that she wouldn't hold back if I tried to leave, and that she be glad to see the back of me. Okay, I, I really want to make a joke here. I'm not going to do it though. Basically confirming what I thought she felt towards me. I told her that if that's her wish, then I want nothing to do with her too. I think she tried to stop me from leaving because she tried to grab my arm, but I was out of reach and ran off to my neighbor's house before she could catch me. As it was dark, she didn't see where I went off to. 
Even though I felt guilty about what I said, and because I knew the level of criticism they'd face at our family's hand for not reining me in, I admit I felt it was justified and that I was preempting them. I didn't try to contact them because I wanted to see how all this would play out, mainly if I would be welcomed back if I ever returned and not turned to the street. I got cold feet a couple of times while trying to call them and ultimately decided to leave it until a couple of days had passed so that they can cool off, which I guess I shouldn't have done, but I didn't count on my parents actually worrying where I was or if I was safe. Turns out, they do care about me. Dad came to take me home the moment he realized where I was, and we had a row about the stunt I pulled and how childish it was. I felt like a butthole for going no contact after realizing just how deep his and her worry ran. Someone told me that it was weird that I felt entitled to my parents love and a what and attention and th that everything I did was to cause unnecessary drama which got me thinking that my behavior is not normal I'm not proud of what I did I really feel bad it was a spur of the moment decision that I took under stress because I genuinely thought that my mother wanted me gone but I'm feeling conflicted because although my friends are on my side my extended family think I behaved like a cowardly butthole who broke her parents hearts on a whim. This image I built of my cold, neglectful, and emotionally distant parents has been destroyed now, and I'm left feeling like the ungrateful brat they've always thought me to be. So, Reddit, am I the butthole? Well, the fact that you're currently asking that, I feel, is sh goes to show that no, you're not. You were upset, your mom said and did things that she shouldn't have said out of being upset, and you probably said and did things you probably shouldn't have done while being upset okay you genuinely thought they didn't care and so you just ran off because that is that that was a toxic situation if i'm being real um so but the fact that you feel remorse and you see what you did wrong i recommend talking to them about it maybe if they'll listen um and but back yourself up because what she did was not normal like come on uh <laughs> she shouldn't be that high strung with you like you're 17 um i know when i was 17 i didn't really have much freedom at all but you know that i'm a freaking weird case because my parents are weird <laughs> but um you i think at 17 deserve uh, some degree of freedom to the point where if you're in your backyard you should be able to explain that you were in your backyard and not out doing god knows what god knows where and even if you were doing god knows what god knows where um who cares you know as long as you're being safe and responsible that's all that matters and your parents should trust you um especially at that age so I'm more inclined to believe that the parents are the butthole. You are not. But of course, the Reddit verdict is just incorrect, obviously. I, 32 male, began dating my girlfriend, 26 female, in February of last year. Just a few weeks later, we went into lockdown, so we did not go out many places before we had to have all of our dates at our houses. In July, we moved in together. Nice. She works from home, so she wears joggers or yoga pants and big hoodies or sweaters all day, which is fine. Now that restrictions in our area are beginning to lift, we're going out more. And she is still wearing what I consider loungewear to go out. We went out to a nice restaurant with our friends and everyone else was dressed semi-formal and my girlfriend was wearing leggings with a hole in them and a sweater with a stain on it. She also dresses in these sorts of clothes for dinner with my family. Wait. I tried to be subtle and offered to take her out clothes shop, but she said no. So I was a bit more direct and told her we should get some nice clothes for her to go out in. And again, she said no. So I finally had to tell her that I felt uncomfortable and slightly embarrassed when we go out and her attire didn't match what was appropriate for the venue. I made sure to tell her that I don't mind her wearing yoga pants or joggers and hoodies, but when she went out, she should try and look a bit more presentable. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you didn't say anything wrong, okay? But goddamn, you did a... 
big oopsie, a boopsie. She began screaming at me and told me if I was so embarrassed by her, I didn't have to take her anywhere. Oy, oy. She even went as far as to tell me that I should just sleep with my best friend's girlfriend if I found her so disgusting. I never wanted to insult her personally. I just wanted to suggest she saves the comfy clothes for home and dress up a little when we go out in public. Am I the butthole? Edit it to add. She does not have anger issues. Her response to this was incredibly off character for her, which is why I'm asking if I'm the butthole here. Adding, wow, am I glad I posted here. I'm a moron, so it never occurred to me that this could be a mental health and weight gain self-esteem issue. I'm gonna try to find a delicate way to talk to her about this. Thank you all so much. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you definitely touched a nerve there. Um, <laughs> and if anything, yeah, this is right on the mark in my eyes, at least. You know, people only react like that if you target something they're feeling insecure about. Um, and yeah, dude, freaking lockdown weight gain. That's it's so bad. Like, um, I was constantly ordering freaking food every day. And you know what? It was a good time. I enjoyed it. So much good food around here. But I got a little chunky from it. And it sucked. So, um, you know, I, I stopped doing that. <laughs> uh, you know, started more healthy habits. And, you know, back to a good spot. But my point is, Popeye's sushi, Chick-fil-A, y'all are dangerous. And I know, if you're eating the right kind of sushi, you're not gonna get fat. But, you know, the regular sushi's good, but the spicy tuna roll, even though it's not that bad for you, it still usually got spicy mayo mixed in it, kind of. Um, the spicy salmon hand roll, mm, taco yuck, yeah, I gotta stop. Oh, and uh, verdict is um not the butthole. All right, just you know, figure out how to talk to her, like you said. Update: Am I the butthole for telling my girlfriend I'd like her to dress up when we go out? I like to say to everyone who commented, especially Zach, who commented verbally after the fact. I'm just kidding. I added that in there. It was implied, though. I'm sure. <laughs> this community may very well have saved my relationship. That's what we like to hear. I spoke to my girlfriend. First, I apologized to her. Good job. Then I told her that she seemed to get uncharacteristically upset at the comment I made and if there was anything else she wanted to talk about. It took a bit of coaxing, but eventually she opened up to me and told me that she had gained weight during quarantine and felt uncomfortable in her body. She said she didn't want to buy new clothes because she felt embarrassed admitting to me that she was a larger size now, but she didn't like the, the way her old clothes looked on her. I told her, honestly, <laughs> that to me she still looked as beautiful as when we began dating and that I had not even noticed her fluctuating weight. We had begun a workout regimen at home. It's like CrossFit but the workouts are only 15 to 20 minutes so we do one in the morning and one at night. We've also, sadly, cut out all the junk food in our house. It sucks but luckily she's a really good cook and makes zucchini pasta and kale chips not suck. She said it's too soon to see a difference but I personally already think she looks like she's getting leaner to answer a question a lot of people were asking about the comment she made about why i don't go why don't i go sleep with my best friend's girlfriend no i did not tell her i wish she dressed more like x or anything like that her ex cheated on her and slept with her his ah god damn it slept with his friend's girlfriend i guess when she got upset it's something she just jumped to say damn this is one healthy relationship and you know what i say that not sarcastic Sarcastically. And I say that also not sarcastically. And I say, okay, I'm gonna go in a loop. Um, but I love it. Such good communication, opening up to each other, getting closer, and and like getting sweaty and like working and, and freaking balling. That's what I like to hear, see, whatever the hell. Also, um, be careful, OP. Do not uh accidentally and unintentionally put junk food on a pedestal. Allow your guy, allow your yourselves to indulge a little bit in moderation it's fine like literally um for me like i lost i lost a bit of weight from from quarantine like i mentioned and really in actuality i mean i did start eating a little healthier but that was just because i don't know it just happened but also i just reduced the amount of junk food i ate and just reduced the amount i ate um and i just only ate when i was hungry and i ate till not till i was full but till i wasn't hungry anymore all right important distinction like i still eat quesadillas at like four in the morning but where i might have like loaded it with more cheese or something or ate like two of them because i was like wow that was satisfying to eat i just eat one and i'm chilling with some salsa i love salsa chunky salsa none of that stupid blended crap
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.